If you started working with After Effects and Premiere recently, so after a long period of time working with these two softwares, do not leave them alone. This is Crypto Studio one more time. This time we're gonna talk about how we can optimize softwares like Premiere and After Effects as we have already mentioned about the Windows and browser. Such programs like After Effects and Premiere have uh, this feature to clean the cache and junk files from them because most of the YouTubers or the people who are producing videos or edit editing all these videos uh, actually work with these two softwares more than the other ones and after a period of time all these uh, files and videos that are covered and edited into After Effects and Premiere they cause a cache into your system and they occupy more of your space so what I'm offering you is to clean your cache files from After Effects software and Premiere software after a while because while sometimes you see that no app is added, no uh, program is installed on your computer but you're facing the lack of space uh, into your system and there is no enough space for you to uh, download other medias or download other softwares or even uh, export your videos from After Effects or Premiere. So this is very easy in some seconds that I'm going to tell you how to clean all these junk files. Uh, and if there is any other question, you can ask me, but don't forget to subscribe us first. For sure, this is pretty annoying for those who are working with these two softwares, seeing lack of space uh, of their hard drive. Because after a while, while you work with Premiere and After Effects, you will have lots of cache files in your system if you don't uh, delete them if you don't clean all these junk files your PC doesn't export the, the um, result of your After Effects very well doesn't export the video you want in Premiere very well so I'm gonna show you how to clean the cache files from After Effects first there is a bar actually at the top of the side that every software has so you need to come to the edit when I open it at the end we have something like preferences then uh, in here you see media and this cache. I press it there will be another window coming up and it shows uh, Maximum this cache size is 22 gigabyte. This is the default value that the software has chosen for me But actually I can increase and decrease this amount as you can see with scrolling to the right or left But actually 22 is something okay because I sometimes clean my cache files from my system so what you need to do here is to press empty this cache and while you see wow there is about 16.8 gigabyte of cache files into my system so it means that when i clean the cache files of after effect just this software i will have 16.8 gigabytes of free space in my computer which is lots of video that could be exported from these two softwares so uh, the last time that i cleaned the cache was about three days ago and in three days i just got 16.8 gigabytes of cache and for sure I need to uh, delete them all. There is another box uh, in here, cle uh, clear this cache for all versions. I have just only one version installed, but I, I just leave it as it is and I press OK. It uh, has a, a very long procedure and then it's over. Uh, see, this button is actually off right now, so uh, it means that I do not have any other cache or uh, junk file. For Premiere software, you need to come to edit part again, which is at the top side of the software. You need to come to the preferences, which is at the bottom of the window, and you will see something like media cache. When you open up, you see another window. There is something like delete in here. It doesn't have any empty media cache or something like that. When I press that, the button, it tells me delete unused file or delete unused media cache files. Yes, I want to delete them all when I press bottom. It has a very small procedure and then everything is done. So three good options are available into Premiere that I actually haven't touched them because I uh, sometimes clean the cache files from these two softwares. But I uh, offer you if you forget to do that, you can uh, choose the second option because you can clean the cache files, actually not you, the computer itself, the software itself can clean the cache files after some days. You can say, for example, after 10 days, clean all the cache files. Or maybe you can press the last uh, button on and uh, it asks you, okay, so when do you want to clean all the cache files? When it exceeds 22 gigabyte, when it exceeds more than 22 gigabyte, or no, when it exceeds more than 
10 gigabytes. It's up to you. You can even set this to two gigabytes. After two gigabytes, I want the system to clean all the cache files from uh, these two softwares. If you've started working with these two software recently and you're new, uh, you can ask me questions. I can share free tricks and tips about editing videos in After Effects and uh, Premiere. So don't forget to subscribe us and you will have lots of other videos afterwards about technology, computer, how to optimize your PC, how you can use graphic cards and uh, different kinds of stuffs about technology. All you need to do is to subscribe us. Waiting to see you in Crypto Studio one more time. Have a good day.